Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is May 30th, 2023, and it's reported that Ferran Torres does not want to leave Barcelona. Also, if Barcelona were to sign a right back, it seems that Joao Cancelo will be the chosen man to reinforce that position. And finally, it's being reported that Leo Messi's entourage has accepted the deal for the transfer to the Saudi club, Al-Hilal. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way in helping this small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag. The link is down below in the description. Now we begin with the news that Xabi just confirmed in the most recent press conference that Barcelona's priority in the summer transfer market will be to find a pivot in order to replace Sergio Busquets and also to reinforce the attack because it seems that Xavi Hernandez is content with the current defensive line which, is, which has been the best in La Liga and one of the best defensive lines in all of Europe. Now in regards to the pivot position, as I've reported many times before, Xavi Hernandez's number one option to reinforce that position is Real Sociedad's Martin Subimendi. And Barcelona had initially told Xavi that that was not a possibility given his 60 million euro release clause. But Xavi most recently asked the club once again to make an effort to try to bring Martin Subimendi to Barcelona because Xavi believes that he's the natural replacement for Sergio Busquets. While today reports are stating that Martin Subimendi might have closed the door on Barcelona for good because it's reported that the player has confirmed to his current club of Real Sociedad that he doesn't want to leave the club and he wants to remain at Real Sociedad because he wants to play the Champions League next season with what it is his childhood club. Now Martin Subimendi is not interested in leaving Real Sociedad even if other clubs pay the 60 million euro release clause. And of course, we already saw that during the winter transfer market where Arsenal offered to pay the 60 million euro release clause, but Martin Subimendi refused to leave. Now, it's also reported that Martin Subimendi has told Real Sociedad that even if he does want to leave in the future, that's not going to be to any other clubs in La Liga because he doesn't want to compete against Real Sociedad. So if he does leave, it would most likely be to another club in the Premier League. Now, I think with this news, this for sure closes the door on the possibility of Barcelona bringing Martin Subimendi because, again, Barcelona have to pay the 60 million euro release clause, which is very difficult given the club's financial situation. And even if Barcelona managed to pull together those 60 million euros, the fact that the player does not want to leave the club, that, of course, this makes this operation impossible because you can't kidnap players. And even if you do play, pay the release clause, if the player does not want to come near your club, then you cannot take him against his will. Now, in regards to the attacking line by Xabi Hernandez saying that Barcelona's priority will be to reinforce the attack come this summer, he is pretty much confirming that there will be several players offloaded from the attacking line. Because if you look at Barcelona's lineup, they have currently five attackers with Dembele, Rafinha, Osman Dembele, Ansu Fati, and Ferran Torres which of course confirms what I've been saying for quite some time, that Barcelona have decided to offload both Ferran Torres and Ansu Fati. Now in regards to Ferran Torres, it seems that the player has communicated to the club through his entourage that he doesn't want to leave Barcelona, that he wants to remain at the club. And it seems that Ferran Torres, in the scheduled meeting that he has with, with Xabi, where Xabi will try to convince the player to leave, seems that Ferran Torres is going to be asking Xabi Hernandez for another opportunity to prove himself because, again, he believes that he does have what it takes to, uh, to succeed at Barcelona and he believes that he can be a good asset for the team. Now, Barcelona are not considering giving Ferran Torres another chance and they consider that Ferran Torres has failed to live up to, uh, to the expectations. So as a result, the plan to offload him will still remain in place regardless of what Ferran Torres asks the club. 
but of course this will be a difficult offloading given that the player does not seem to want to leave so Barcelona are definitely going to have to do some work to try to convince the player to leave this summer. Now it's reported that there are several clubs in the Premier League who are interested in signing Ferran Torres amongst them is Newcastle who were recently purchased by a Saudi, uh, Saudi investment fund and as a result they're looking to make hefty investments in order to make their team competitive, not only in the Premier League, but also in the European stage. Now, once Barcelona reinforced the midfield and the attacking line, it's reported that if the club still have some margin on their salary li limit, or they're still allowed by the financial fair play rules to, uh, to sign more players in the summer, they will try to reinforce the right back position. Now, even though the right back position needs reinforcements as soon as possible, given the club's difficult financial situation, they are going to have to pick and choose which positions to prioritize first. And it seems that Xavi Hernandez's priority right now is the midfield and the attacking line. So the right back position will only be reinforced if Barcelona still have some margin to work with once those two, uh, once the midfield and the attacking line are reinforced. But if Barcelona can sign someone for the right back position, it seems that the Portuguese Joao Cancelo will be the chosen one. Because even though Xavi Hernandez's number one option for that position is Juan Foyth, as I reported in a previous video, Villarreal have made their stance very clear that they will not negotiate with any club for Juan Foyth and that if any club want to sign the Argentinian defender, they will have to pay his release clause worth 60 million euros. Now given that the right back position is not a priority over the midfield and the attacking line, Barcelona are not willing to spend that much on bringing someone for the right back position. So therefore, they will try to bring Joao Cancelo on loan because uh, Bayern Munich have uh, decided not to exercise the option to buy. So Joao Cancelo will be going back to Manchester City. And since Pep Guardiola does not count on the Portuguese fullback, the Premier League club will be looking to offload the player at come this summer. Barcelona are hoping through Jorge Mendes to bring Joao Cancelo on loan to Barcelona. Now, in a press conference, Xavi Hernandez confirmed something that I had reported about several weeks ago, and that's that Barcelona had a deal in place to bring Joao Cancelo to the club over the winter transfer market. However, Manchester City decided to block that loan and instead sent Joao Cancelo to Bayern Munich. Now, we don't know what the reason is for Manchester City to block this loan of Cancelo to Barcelona, but I would like to think that it was Pep Guardiola looking out to Barcelona because there are several rumors saying that Joao Cancelo is very toxic in the locker room and has many attitude problems. But again, this is not confirmed. This is just my opinion. So I would love to hear from you. Why do you think Manchester City blocked the move of Joao Cancelo to Barcelona? Drop a comment down below. Now, speaking of the right back position, the French fullback Benjamin Pavard has been linked once again with Barcelona. Now, for the longest time, it was believed that Benjamin Pavard did not want to renew his contract with Bayern Munich. And as a result, he was heavily linked with a possible arrival in Barcelona. But then the news came out saying that Benjamin Pavard had decided to uh, renew his club, uh, his contract with Bayern Munich. And as a result, Barcelona's interest in the French defender ceased. Well, now it's being reported that Pavard is once again considering not renewing his contract with Bayern Munich because he seems to be upset with everything that's going on in the club, with the firing of Nagelsmann, the firing of Oliver Kahn, and the way the league ended for Bayern Munich. But nonetheless, Barcelona have n are not interested in signing Benjamin Pavard because they're not willing to pay the price for, uh, for the French defender the same way they're not willing to pay the price for Juan Foyt because, again, the right-back position is not a priority over the midfield and the attacking line. So Barcelona will stick with their main target, which is to bring Joao Cancelo on loan. Now on to the bombshell news that Leo Messi's entourage have reportedly accepted that offer to join the Saudi club Al-Hilal. Now during the late hours of last night, the reporter Santi Auna, who is based in France, dropped a huge bombshell that Leo Messi's entourage has accepted Al-Hilal's offer, which consists of 600 million euros per season for a, uh, for a duration of two seasons, which would mean it would be a 1.2 billion euro contract for the Argentinian superstar, which would make Leo Messi not only the highest paid footballer, but he would make him the highest paid athlete in the entire history of all the com all the sports combined. Now, after this bombshell news dropped on social media, several reporters in Argentina, including Beto Brunati, who's very close to Leo Messi's entourage, 
dropped a different version of a story saying that Leo Messi's father, Jorge Messi, had reached out to Barcelona and given them an ultimatum to either make an offer to Leo Messi in the upcoming days or that Leo Messi will be joining the Saudi club Al-Hilal. Now, ever since these two stories were broken on social media, there's been a lot of reporters on both sides confirming the two different stories with some saying that yes, Leo Messi's entourage has accepted the Saudi uh, offer and with other reporters saying that Leo Messi's father, Jorge Messi, is putting pressure on Barcelona and that they want an offer as soon as possible or otherwise Leo Messi will be going to Saudi Arabia. Now, it seems that Leo Messi has been asking Barcelona Barcelona for assurances for quite some time that the club will be able to offer him what they were hoping to offer or what they promised to offer him as far as a contract but of course Barcelona have not been able to give Leo Messi any assurances because it does not depend on the club but it depends on La Liga approving that feasibility plan and as I reported before La Liga seems to be delaying the approval of the feasibility plan constantly asking Barcelona for further and further proof on whether the club will be able to meet all the goals laid out in that feasibility plan. Now, what we do know is that Leo Messi and his wife Antonella would love to come back to the city of Barcelona. But as I reported previously, Messi's father, Jorge Messi, would like his son to go to Saudi Arabia because, of course, it's a much, much bigger uh, financial offer. And, Le and Jorge Messi believes that his son should not miss out on all the money that the Saudi club Al-Hilal are currently offering him. Now, the same reporters in Argentina who were reporting that Leo Messi's father, Jorge Messi, was putting pressure on Barcelona to make an offer have confirmed the same exact thing that I just told you, that Leo Messi would like to come back to the club, which, of course, confirms the split in Leo Messi's camp with Messi, his wife, and his kids wanting to come back to Barcelona but his father and his brother wanted the Argentinian and go to Saudi Arabia. Now, it is reported that Leo Messi's possible arrival in Saudi Arabia is becoming more and more real with each passing day because even though the Argentinian would like to come back to Barcelona, he's not sure whether waiting for the club to make him an offer will be a feasible thing because there's a lot of uh, variables up in the air because even if the feasibility plan is approved, Barcelona need to accomplish several other things like registering the contracts of Gabi, Araujo, Marcos Alonso, Sergio Roberto, and Alejandro Balde, renew the contract of Dembélé, sign players to reinforce the, the pivot position and the attacking line, and then Barcelona would, uh, uh, would look to see or um, to sign Leo Messi. So Messi thinks that his offer might never arrive. So it's starting to look like Messi is uh, becoming more and more convinced of a possibility of joining the Saudi club Al-Hilal despite him wanting to come to Barcelona. Now, in my opinion, I don't think that this, is, this deal is completely over yet. Yes, Santiago has reported that Messi's entourage has accepted the Saudi offer, but I think the fact that Messi would like to come back to Barcelona might uh, give us a little bit more hope that he will wait for that Barcelona offer. And as I reported yesterday, Matteo Alemania has confirmed that La Liga could be giving Barcelona an official green light next week. So hopefully that does happen and hopefully Barcelona can make that offer to Leo Messi and we can finally see the best club in the history of our, uh, of our uh, of football and of Barcelona return to what it's always been, his home. But of course, we are going to have to wait and see. I don't think we're, we are done talking about the Leo Messi return yet. And as always, I do want to hear from you. What do you think is going to happen as far as Leo Messi returning to the club? Drop a comment down below. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Visca Barça.